Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be going through a tutorial today to show you how to make uh, uh, Paul Walker's Skyline off of Too Fast or Furious. So let's get started. Alrighty. Let's go to Design Creator. I noticed on this boiler or on this car I have the wrong spoiler. I will be changing it. Maybe. I'll change it, yeah, I'll change it. <clears throat> Honestly, I like these cars just this color, like just that's just that's good like I like to drive around just like this. This is it. That's just Car I like to pick that color blue with those rims. If I had one of these in real life, I would probably clean my pants. They look like black, too. But for this one, we're going to have it metallic gray. Now I'm going to paint the spoiler blue. It's already done. You want to go over and make the windows blue as well from the movie. He has light in the car. I'm not satisfied with that color. There we go. Alrighty. Now I mean you can pick any rims you want. You can you can pick whatever tickles your fancy really. Alright. Because those rims I have on the car right now aren't the right rims that are on the car in the show. So this is what I do. I'm not a professional at this or nothing, but I'm going to go over to size. I'm going to make it really skinny and really tall. A little wider than that. Then I'm going to spin it. It's just a rectangle. I'll make it even bigger. Length of the car. A little wider. If you want it to go right from the corner of the front bumper to your headlight. Just don't want it to be that thick. Okay, now we're gonna press yellow. I'm just gonna stamp it there. That's if you have an Xbox, imagine it's triangle on the PlayStation. And we're going to angle this just a little different. And we're going to make it just a little fatter than the other one was. And stamp it. And stamp it. Alright. Now we're going to take the same rectangle, but we're going to make it as close as gray as you can get to the metallic. I'm going to make it really skinny and really tall. We want this to go through both of our stripes, and you want it to be a uniform, a uniform stripe, right? You don't want your top one to be like this, and then your bottom one to be over here, where they don't line up, right? Like you want them to line up, or look stupid. And then from here on, I just stamp. I mean, you can do it any way you want. People do it different ways. There's a million different videos out there. You know how to do this. Everybody does it their own unique way. And that is how I do it. It looks kind of fucked up right now because you can see the square or the gray lines, but we're gonna do something with that in a minute. So you just put that there to kind of help it line up with the one that goes over the wheel well. Now we gotta go into all these and put the transparency down. Now 
The reason we're doing this is because it helps hide the gray on the metallic silver. Because it's hard to get, you know, it's hard to get them to go together, which is something they need to fix. There's no reason we should be doing these paints and not be able to put a metallic and a fucking gloss color together and make it look funny. I mean, we should be able to put metallic on our on our decals that we make. I just, I don't like it. I think it's stupid. I know it seems like a lot of work doing this. Every single line. I mean, you can do it as you do with them. I just find it's easier to go back and do it all once. They don't really have to be really dark, they just have to be enough to notice that there's a gap in between the blue squares. You don't want it to be too, too noticeable, but you don't want it to be too, too faded. I mean, there's all kinds of ways to do this. You don't have to do it this way. This is just the way I like doing it. I'm not no artist. I know a lot of people out there are artists. I know a lot of people out there try to copy these videos and they still can't do it. Now I'm just going to pull this down so you don't notice the square part of it. No, no, I And I'm just going to copy it all to the lighter side, just like that. And I'm not going to copy these, not done. So we're going to put stripes in this front part. This is a little tip for anybody who tries to do ration stripes and they can't do ration stripes very well. Go to your letters, go to your I or your L or whatever. Paint it the color blue that you want it to be painted. And then we're going to spin it. Don't don't put the size up, don't move it, just spin it. And we're gonna go usually left with your joystick and it'll say, you know, 60, it'll go up. You go up to 90, and then that puts it on a perfectly 90 degree angle. And now you're going to size it. And now you can move it up. What I like to do is I stamp it, and then I get the length, or the width between I like. And then I stamp it, and then I select them both, and I can move them both at the same time. And then I just line it, try to line it up with this kind, just like that. Here's another thing too. With these cars, some people put racing stripes on the hood and the roof. Some people put them just on the hood and the bumper. I think for today's tutorial, we will just put it on the hood because on the movie, it's not on the, it's not on the roof. Right, like it's it's just on the hood in the front bumper. So all you gotta do is press blue to which is X on the Xbox 360 to copy both of those and then paste it and then you should just have to take it over and rotate it. 
to a 90 degree angle. Get that to 90. Yes, and then we'll move it over and line it up and it should line up perfectly. Like that. So the only thing that's on the back is you're going to apply decal, the decal, decal decal, whatever you want to call it. And go to Toyo tires and then downsize it. Some people put it right here in the skyline, some people put it up here. Some people put it down to where the plate's supposed to go. I was just put it right there on the crease of the trunk. And the only thing left is for the top. I mean, you can do this either way you want. A lot of people just take the Toyo tire symbol. Because on the movie, there's a bunch of tackles right here. I mean, you can just go like this and stamp a bunch of these like that. I mean, or you can, like if you don't actually feel like making them, you just need blue ones, right? So, I mean, you can use Sparco, you can use Toyo tires, you can use whatever, right? That's essentially it. I'm going to make it out and save it. When we take it over to the uh, body shop, we'll, uh, I'll show you what rims and what spoiler I usually use. God, that looks good black, doesn't it? Sassy. See, that's the thing, too. If you don't want to do all that bull crap with the, with the, um, the metallic and stuff, you can just use normal gray and hide it just as good. See? That's what a lot of people do because it's easier and it's cleaner. But you don't have to. I'm telling you, I like this car in different colors. Imagine it lime green with black. That'd be wicked. Anywho. Get out of here and we'll go to the shop and we'll get some spoilers and some rims. I mean, don't be afraid to drop me a, a like or a comment if you have any questions. I know there's a lot of videos out there showing how to do this, but I find they're not, I don't know how to put this, they're not in depth enough for the new beginner, like, not everybody's a veteran of Forza right now. And some people just want the easiest way to do it. Mm. I don't know. I just find, I usually do things the easiest way that I know of and a lot of people seem to be on the same page as me for you know finding it the way I do it the easy way and I mean when you look at this car like I just made this car in like what a couple minutes like 10 minutes and I mean when you take a first glance around like this it looks good like it looks see how all the lines line up you see other people's and their lines don't line up and it just looks stupid I mean there's a hundred different ways to do this but it's the way I like to do it I mean, there is some, there is some people out there that like to have it, you know, movie replica quality. But if you want to do that, you literally have to do it yourself and take the time to do it yourself and such.
like this isn't even the greatest like the front bumper where the blue comes down i didn't even do that great that's just a show in your rough tutorial i had to do it and when you do the two blue lines in between on the side the gray that's in between the two blue you want it to go slow from small to bigger at the back We're going to change the spoiler to the stock one. Okay, and we're going to go to rims. Oops. I had the BBS ones on. But, you don't, don't have to do what I do. Just showing you how to do the paint. And what rims usually people put on. This, this is the type of rim on Fast and Furious. That he has on the car. This is the type of look just that looks like this. You can't get the actual rim that he has, but it looks like that. Okay. Also, for anybody that wants to do drifting, all you need to do is um, go into your auto. Oh, excuse me. Auto upgrade, and you're gonna want it to be like, you know, S class or so, because you want a lot of power when you're drifting, especially in this car because it's all wheel drive, right? It doesn't want to drift. So then you're gonna go back into custom upgrades. You're gonna go into your tires. First thing you're gonna do is put it back to stock because you don't want your tires to be too grippy. You want it to be loose. And we're gonna go to the tire width. You want your front tire width to be stock. And you want your back tire width to be upgraded. Uh, your rims, you want the front rims to be normal. And you want the back rims to be a little bigger if you want to do some drifting. And then you just go in and you can play with, you know, you don't have to come in and play with all the parts. But it does help. Like people who are really good at drifting in these games, they go in and they, you know, they play with everything. I even sometimes I'll go in and uh, like these the roll bars they're really good if you if you want to do some drifting you should put them in you're gonna want to have the lightweight car and such I mean you don't have to go right up to S class or R3 class you can you can just go in and put a couple of different parts in and stay at a low class but still have enough power to do it. Yeah, so now that she's all done, we'll go back to the paint. Because so I painted my spoiler, but it didn't stay on. So we'll go back and paint it blue, and then we'll take her for a little drive, and we'll see how she works. I got this on standard manual, by the way. Creator. So one thing I don't like about this game compared to like Forza 4 or Forza 5 and all, you know, is the loading. It's like I can't just go in, like I'm already in the paint shop. Why do I have to wait for it to load again to go in and paint? Like stupid. So we're gonna paint car, we're gonna go to spoiler, we're gonna paint that bitch. Blue. Now we're gonna get the fuck out of Dodge Arms. Excuse my language. Right. Right. 
And that is her. Excuse me. So there you have it. Now that is how to make the skyline off of Too Fast or Furious. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to put a like and subscribe. And we'll see you later.